Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. So this is actually the book's release date today that this video is going to be uploaded August 1st. So happy publication day to Bring Me Your Midnight. This one is a YA fantasy romance and it is a standalone which is a plus. And I also want to say thank you to NetGalley for the e arc for this book. This book is actually my first book from this author and let's just get on to a quick summary. Hannah Fairchild's life has been planned out for her and she has known that she was always going to marry the governor's son, Landon, to forge an alliance between the witches on her island and with the mainlanders. The witches in this world, they have to release their excess power every full moon into the ocean and if they don't, there might be dire consequences for them. But once Tana misses this monthly ritual, she meets a mysterious boy, Wolf, from a forgotten coven. Wolf helps her out, but he does tempt her with a more wilder fate. First off, what I really loved about this book is that it was really easy to dive into Tano's world of witches and magic on her island home. It was very atmospheric with poetic writing, but not overly so. It was very easy to get sucked into this book. I also liked how the magic system was set up with the witches needing to release their power each month or they might be at risk of dying. So once they release their power into the ocean, there is consequences to their island home that has been taking place, such as um, dangerous ocean currents and dying plant life. It was also nice to see how the small ways that magic was integrated into everyday life. For example, Tana's best friend Ivy, her parents run a tea shop and they have like specific magical tea recipes to help like boost your mood or to do specific things such as there is something called an awakened tea and that helps you feel more energized, take away all your grogginess instantly. Another huge thing in this book are secrets and once these secrets are being revealed to Tana and we see the huge impact that it has on her as well as other characters, there's like a chain effect. However, it's really nice to see how Tana is the type of character not to immediately accept the truth or whatever secrets being revealed as the truth. After seeing bits of evidence and uh, gathering her information, then she sees how the secrets are actually the truth. And I do like that about Tana and that she does have a normal reaction to having her entire world upended. Lastly, I really enjoyed the themes of sacrifice, upholding your duty versus pursuing your own passions, and also the risk of falling in love. The one thing about this book that I wasn't 100% on board with was the romance. Our romance interest is Wolf and he represents um, telling the truth to Tana as well as introducing a new way of life to her. I did like this aspect of his character of showing the ways of his coven to Tana and being very open about that. What turned me off was that some points they would be communicating telepathically and it would be randomly at midnight they'd be calling each other's names and I was like, oh, this really plays into the huge mysterious aspect of him. The main factor that did turn me off was that this romance ended up being kind of a Romeo and Juliet situation, which I do like that type of trope, but I think in this one, it just didn't really work for me. Although with their relationship, they have a very strong bond and a strong commitment to each other despite their troubles. In the end, I really did like their high stakes nature of their romance. But in conclusion, I did end up rating Bring Me Your Midnight 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is a very nice YA romance fantasy and it has a lot of witchy vibes. It's very atmospheric, set on an island. There's also that high stakes romance that is very addicting to read. Although this book didn't blow me away, I do have to admire the author for bringing what she did into this book. I would recommend this book to younger readers and if you're looking for something to read in the fall since that is fast approaching. I really do hope you enjoyed this review. It was short and sweet and I hope you can also give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.